Hey there, welcome to Amy's Animal Facts. This episode is about flamingos as requested by Skittle Fly Tea Account on YouTube. There are six species of flamingos recognized today. The Greater Flamingo, the Caribbean Flamingo, the Chilean Flamingo, the Andean Flamingo, the Lesser Flamingo, and the Puna or James's Flamingo. Flamingos range from one meter to 1.6 meters tall and can weigh anywhere in between 1.5 to 4.1 kilos. And now for some interesting facts about flamingos. To begin with, the flamingos pink colouring comes from the food they eat, such as algae, diatoms, small aquatic insects, but especially crustaceans. The Caribbean flamingos are the brightest species. A flamingo's colouring is very important when finding a mate. The brighter the colour, the more likely you are to attract a mate. Because the colouring is influenced by what they eat, it is suggested that the colour is not only visually appealing, but also an indicator as to how healthy the individual is. Speaking of eating, flamingos have a very particular way of doing it. They hold their bill underwater upside down. Then they suck up the water and even mud, and filter out invertebrates by using briny plates called lamellae. Flamingos have also been known to upend themselves, which is when their head's underwater and their tail feathers are in the air. They do this to get food. Now flamingos are quite a social bird. Group sizes can range from just a few pairs to more than one million at a time, making them one of the largest flocks known today. Flamingos are able to start breeding from about six years of age. Unlike other animals, they do not have a particular breeding season and can breed any time throughout the year. Some have been known to breed twice a year, but others will skip breeding for years. Breeding may depend on rainfall and food supply. To attract a mate, flamingos will stretch, preen, and males will often group together and run stretching towards the sky. To signify a bond between two birds, they will call in unison together. Once a pair is formed, it is not always for life. It depends on the individuals. Some birds will stay monogamous for many seasons, but others will have many partners. A flamingo's nest can be as high as 30 centimetres. Made of sticks, rocks, feathers and mud, these nests are started up to six weeks before the single egg is laid. Sometimes two eggs are laid, but usually only one will hatch. Sometimes an egg will fall from the nest and is often not retrieved. If the egg is lost early, another egg will be laid. Flamingos are born a greyish white colour and do not turn pink for a couple of years. Parents are very protective of their young and will only care for their own chicks. Chicks are fed a secretion from the upper digestive tract that both males and females produce. It is often referred to as milk, as its protein and fat levels are similar to that of mammals. However, the milky secretion is not white, but a reddish colour, because of what the parents eat. This pigment is stored by the chicks until they need it to produce their first pink feathers. Lastly, what's with the one-legged standing? The answer is thermoregulation. By tucking one leg up in the feathers, this conserves body heat, and therefore energy is saved, not having to produce said heat. They will, however, display this behaviour in both cool and warm environments, suggesting it is a fixed behaviour in any temperature. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about flamingos. Join me next time to learn interesting facts about animals you guys have suggested. Until next time.